In this video I'm going to thread some steel pipe using the rigid 300 power drive. There are a few different variations of this machine and so your model might not look exactly like the one in this demonstration. This machine can be used to thread black steel pipe, galvanised steel pipe or even stainless steel pipe. Although you might need special dies for stainless steel. Steel pipe is very common in industrial buildings and is used for carrying compressed air, condensate, industrial water or vacuum etc. Because there are a few variations of this machine it is important that you read the user manual. It can thread from 8th of an inch up to 2 inch pipe by using the appropriate dies. In the UK it's common to thread BSPT threads whereas in some countries NPT threads will be required. This can be achieved by fitting the appropriate dies. This machine can cut ream and thread pipe very quickly and very easily. Before we do anything I'm just going to point out a few of the parts. At the rear of the machine we have the rear centering device. At the front we have the speed grip chuck. We then have the pipe cutter, the quick opening die head, the reamer, the carriage lever, the foot switch, the oil tray, the clamp lever, the throw out lever, the forwards and reverse switch. Normally with this machine the switch is either off or in the forwards position. With some threading machines you have to reverse the dies off the pipe after threading but with the quick opening die head you do not need to do this. All the operations in this video are being carried out with the switch in the forwards position. After selecting forwards you also need to press the foot switch before the machine will rotate. It's absolutely critical that plenty of oil is applied when cutting the threads on this machine. Luckily this model has a built in oiler which applies lots of oil to the dies when the machine is rotating. It is important to wear safety glasses on this machine but never wear gloves. If you are threading long pieces of pipe it is essential to use a pipe stand. Normally pipe like this comes in 6 meter lengths. You will need the correct dies installing for the size of pipe that you are threading. In this demo we will be using dies that can thread half an inch to three quarters of an inch and also one inch to two inch. It can be difficult threading shorter pieces of pipe as it is difficult holding the pipe in the chuck without damaging the threads on the other side of the pipe. But you can get a nipple chuck if needed. I'm now going to cut and thread this piece of 2 inch steel pipe. To start off with it needs putting in the chuck and the chuck needs tightening. To do this use repeated and forceful counterclockwise spins of the speed chuck. Because this is a long length we can also tighten the centering device on the rear of the machine. We now need to get the pipe cutter and locate it onto the pipe ensuring the cutter is in the open position. You can move the cutter from side to side if you wish to get it in the exact right position by moving the carriage lever. Ensure the switch is in forwards then press the foot switch with your foot whilst tightening the feed screw handle on the pipe cutter. Eventually the pipe will be cut and will drop into the tray. The 
pipe cutter can now be lifted out of the way and the pipe can be reamed. To do this, pull down the reamer and flick up the reamer latch and slide the reamer forwards until the latch engages. Forcefully move the reamer into the pipe using the carriage lever for a couple of rotations. Then lift the reamer latch and pull it back, then move it out of the way. Now we are going to cut the thread using the quick opening die head, which has the 1 to 2 inch dies already installed. Ensure that the die head is in the closed position with the throw out lever facing down towards you. Press the foot switch, then use the carriage lever to force the die head onto the pipe. This can require a bit of force to get it started. Once the dies have started to cut a thread, you can let go of the carriage lever as the dies will pull themselves onto the pipe. You can get self opening die heads, but on this machine you have to manually open the die head. This can be done as soon as the pipe hits the back of the dies. As soon as you see the pipe through the back of the dies, you need to open the throw out lever quickly. You can then remove your foot from the foot switch. When cutting the threads, it's a good idea to do it in one operation without stopping. For this machine we have two quick opening die heads. One has the 1 to 2 inch dies installed and the other has the half inch to 3 quarter inch dies installed. This means that we can change from one size pipe to another very quickly as changing the die heads takes much longer. The size of the dies is normally marked on the very end of the dies. On the die head there is a size bar and on the throw out lever there is an index line. Here I'm threading 2 inch pipe and so the index line is aligned with the 2 inch mark on the size bar. Sometimes the dies get worn and so it's necessary to compensate for this and so you can set the dies to undercut or overcut by setting the index line above or below the 2 inch mark on the size bar. I'm now going to thread this piece of half inch pipe, so again I'm going to ream it first, then thread it, this time using the other die head with the half inch to three quarter inch dies installed. This time I'm going to screw a elbow onto the end, so I'm applying some PTFE tape, then screwing the fitting onto the end using a small pipe wrench. Be aware that you can only apply fittings this way if the workpiece can be removed from the front of the machine or if the fitting is small enough to fit through the chuck. Never use the pipe wrench to grip the fitting and press the foot switch as this can lead to injury or damage the machine.
If you're using a vise to assemble the threaded parts, you really need to use a pipe vise or a chain vise as it is almost impossible to grip pipe in a normal vise and get the fitting tight enough. Also, some stainless steel pipe is very thin walled and if you do use a traditional vise, there is a risk that you will crush or distort the pipe which means that it will leak once the pipe and fittings are screwed together. You can of course thread pipe using a manual threader but that will be covered in another video. I hope you found this video useful. If you have and you've not done so already, please subscribe to the channel.